Good kitten internet. Um, what is today? Today is the 27th. It's a Saturday. I thought I would get back in, but I noticed something that I keep forgetting to do, and that is equipping Chester with the stupid quick ring already. Um, so I wanted to show off a few things. So for an example, let's go ahead and take a look at people's agilities. And keep in mind, this is the full list, not just the people that I have in my party. So for instance, these four care, all right, these three, actually no, these four characters are not in my party. So the next lowest agility in the party is the massive tie between Chester, Luke, seriously, a ninja with low agility, what the heck, Rick, and Karna. Karna's also not in my party, so we can ignore Karna. But yeah, um, Luke is at least lower level. He's going to increase agility pretty quickly. Uh, Rick is pathetically low agility, to be honest, but um, he's a priest. He's not getting hit very often. He's not doing double attacks and so on. Chester, on the other hand, I was a little concerned, so he's the one that ends up with a quick ring. Um, Again. Uh, let's see, what else did I want to point out? So, our archers are starting to look better. Let me just filter this based off of any of the archers that we actually have in our party. So that would be brass gunners, or bronze gunners, I think is actually what it's supposed to be. So I'm trying to use the term bronze gunner. Bow knights and snipers. So these are the five in our party. Well, Kazin's not in our party, but yeah. Um, something to note is that attack-wise, yes, May has really high attack, but May's two levels higher than Chester, who has higher attack. So, yeah, Chester's basically our character for I need to kill something fast. May is also that character. Slade is our character for I need a frontline archer, who you'll notice Slade has actually even higher attack. And the reason for that is that Slade's Brass Gunner. Brass Gunner's Bronze Gunner. Darn it, I keep doing that. Bronze Gunners have a higher attack bonus than, say, Snipes or Bow Knights. So Slade's going to be growing further and further into that, hey, look, I do lots of damage category. But something you might want to notice. Slade is currently strictly better than Chester in every way. Even with equipping the Quick Ring, Slade is strictly better than Chester. Sort of. So there's actually a stat that I have not showing on this. Let me move this over and show it. And that's movement. You'll notice that Slade has one few... Actually, um... The archers also only have five movement. Let me double check that. I might not have updated from promotion. No, they have six. Okay. So, it looks like this. Slade has definitely the lowest movement of the group. So, that's the trade-off that you get for having Bronze Gunners, is that they don't increase their movement on promotion, whereas Snipers do. Um, Bow Knights actually have had, or Rangers, the unpromoted Bow Knight, actually had six movement to begin with. So, there's no real difference there. And movement, for reference, is the number of squares you can move, assuming that there's no terrain movement penalties. That's the better way of phrasing it. So, that means that Slade, while being stronger than the rest of our archers, is going to have a harder time catching up with the rest of our archers. Slade would genuinely be a good source for using that running pimento or running ring. And I may end up equipping the running ring, which is currently on Randolph, over onto Slade later on. I haven't decided if I'm even keeping Randolph. So, uh, speaking of keeping Randolph, I wanted to show that. So let's go with just Baron and Wolf Baron. So this is Randolph and Janet. Um, oh yeah, let me hide movement again. Actually, no, in this case, I don't want to hide movement. So, you'll notice that Janet is one level lower than Randolph, and is better in every way. Just better. 
Now, admittedly, this might be because I don't think I'm actually higher level than normal. I think this actually is about the normal level. But, and they both promoted at level 24, so there's no real difference there either. I'm not sure what's going on here. So, the way Shining Force 2 stat level ups work is that somewhere in the game code, there is an algorithm for determining how fast somebody should level. Whether they level up faster early on, or get better stats early on versus later on in the game, versus a peak early and a peak late and stuff like that. It could be that Randolph is somebody who's going to be leveling up faster later on, and Janet somebody who levels up fast. Or, keep saying level up. Stats up faster later on versus statting up faster early. Or it could be that Randolph is just bad. And if it turns out to be that Randolph is just bad, I'm probably going to end up replacing him. And maybe I should have taken that bird... Birdbrain Karna. I mean, having a second flyer sounds like a really good idea right about now. Anyway, wanted to just catch you up on our stat situation. I know I'm probably the only one who cares, but that's fine. My game, after all. And hiding Excel. Ignoring my kitty that's constantly crying. I really don't know what. So it's been crying quite a bit lately. Uh, he still has food in his bowl. He's He randomly eats less than normal, and I um, never was able to figure out why. Uh, vet didn't seem to be too concerned, but I think he's going to end up having a trip to the vet dentist in a few weeks. I've got a queue of cats that need to talk to the dentist, unfortunately. Um, so it might be that he's having tooth pain. Come here. Uh, there's a fly or gnat or something off. Well, it's just distracted now. Let's go ahead and get a new plane. This is the tiniest area that we have that doesn't trigger a battle. It's literally just this spot. The moment I go here, it triggers the battle. And this one's not a random battle. Answer me. Where are you going? I, uh, uh, you were going to South Parmesia to get help, right? I, uh, Paladins of Pacalon, cowards, Higgins, don't you have any pride? Wimp. Shut up, Mr. Higgins is the bravest soldier in the world. I can defend myself. Come on, you half-breed. You afraid of me? I'll turn my back to you. Now run away, you cowards. You've gone too far. <laughs> Pacalon soldiers have no honor. They attack while my back is turned. What? If Mr. Higgins was not ill, you'd be history. Oh, is Higgins ill? In that case, you can try and take me. I can no longer put up with these insults. No, no! Huck! <laughs> you look sad, Higgins. You're not just a normal devil soldier. You're right, Higgins. I can see why you're the leader of the Pacalon army. You've got the big brains. I'm Bishop, an advisor for Xeon. So this is our first encounter with a Greater Devil. Greater Devils are the generals of Xeon's army, basically, and Geshup is the first one that we encounter. How did you know my name? I'm sorry, how did you know my name? You know everything. Now, tell me the reason why you're keeping me alive. Ha! <laughs> you are smart. Does that look awfully familiar? So Geshep is actually capable of summoning gizmos to possess people. What did you do? I can't. My body won't. Uh, I came here to borrow your body. Welcome to our new leader. 
Stop! Oh, Gandalf, I mean, uh... Astral. A force from the south? How? Where'd you come from? We're from Grenseal. But that's on the other... You better leave. Devil soldiers, stop that force from Grenseal. Let's take a look to see what we have. Oh, map. I'm... Map. There's a fairly large number of targets. You'll notice that there's a green dot that's flickering. That's actually Higgins. Even though we can't control Higgins this battle. Higgins is basically not there, even though he's on the map. Um, there actually is a battle that we will have somebody who joins our side during the battle. So it's the only battle in the game that will have 13 characters instead of 12. Anyway, what do we have for new enemies? I know we have at least a couple. Yep. So we've got a wizard. This wizard has Blaze 3. And that's it. This wizard is an awful lot like the, uh, is it the Knights from Chessboard? I think it's practically identical. We also have a Lizard Man. Uh, lizard folk in this game are basically warriors. They have high defense, high attack. Uh, in this case, this one has a large axe. Some of them actually have a heat axe, which is our first unique item. Well, semi-unique. So, I should mention that at this point in the game, I don't believe we can buy any more new weapons for the rest of the game. I know we at least have one class that's maxed out on weapon, and I think we're pretty close to maxing out on all the rest of our weapons. Keep in mind, we're only barely into the second half of the game. So we've got a while where we just don't gain new weapons, and the reason for that is we're going to start finding weapons instead. We'll find weapons that are better than normal, and that means that we may not have a balanced party weapon-wise for a while. I don't know how I'm going to annotate that on the spreadsheet yet. Hey Sam, what are you doing, Guinea? Anyway. Uh, yeah, that's about it. But the real question is, have you heard the good word about boost? Uh, I'm thinking about actually egressing and then promoting Jaha. So Jaha's level 36. Uh, I might as well just wait until the end. It's just that now that I have two people with boost, actually three people with boost, HP 2, MP 2, attack 1, defense 2, agility 2. Dang, that's a nice level up for a mage. Um, now that I have that, there's less of a reason for... Or there's less opportunity for one character to start running off on hit points. Or hit points. Running off on levels... Not very awake because this kitty on my lap right here cried me awake this morning. Just like he did yesterday at 5 o'clock in the morning. And I've had insomnia lately, so that doesn't add up to much sleep. Anyway, I'm thinking about just promoting the rest of my force at this point. The ones that are unpromoted because they don't need to promote anytime soon. I don't know, I'm still debating it back and forth and back and forth. Can please just settle down. I'd like to, you know, not have very sharp claws constantly poking me. Bone can't reach, okay. He won't let me trim his claws as often anymore because he keeps trying to eat the trimmer. It's kind of annoying. There. Now he's curled up on my lap. Of course, I'm gonna lose Chester right in the beginning, aren't I? Ow! 
30 damage. Mm -hmm. Well, that happens to be, oops, wrong character. Happens to be exactly enough for a heal three. So yeah, um, I'm thinking about keeping Rick unpromoted until he levels up more. Problem is that he doesn't have as much in the way of um, uh, MP. So it's taking him longer to grind up, unlike uh, Slade. Is it Slade? That's my other hair? No, it's. Of course. 35. Cool. You hurt. I'm glad that I healed. And you're going to blast Randolph. Don't care. Blast 3 is still not that much damage. It's more damage than him, like, beating me senseless with a stick, but that's not saying much. Um, Kiwi, that's right. Uh, Kiwi has 64 MP, Rick has 51. Now, admittedly, that's probably because of the level difference. So, level 36 versus level 28. So, there's eight levels of difference. I would expect 59 MP minimum. So, Kiwi probably does have more MP than normal, but... It's more the fact that I would like to do something with Jaha other than just constantly cast boost. And don't get me wrong, boost is a nice spell. But uh, the whole point for me having something like this is, you know, to use the abilities that I have. Just saying. Oh, and I'm not wearing my headphones just because my ears were bothering me this morning. Snip. Snip, snip. Snip, snip. Mm, exact damage. Nice. Ooh, I'm only getting 30 XP from them. Okay, that means that May is getting a little high level. Chester is just getting all the attention from the healers. Slicey? Slicey. Or divey, I guess. But we leveled up. HP 1, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. Eh. Not a great level up for promotion, but oh well. This one. I actually have a pretty decent distance between enemies right now. Whoop. Nice crit. Good job, Chester. Chester love love. HP. Attack. Defense. Agility by two. There we go. His agility is no longer doing as bad as it was. Um. I mean, Rick, I need to grind more for sure. That won't take long. But Rick is always going to be lower level than Kiwi, just by virtue of when they join the force. There's not really much I can do about that one. Okay. So what's my plan? There's very few enemies down below. They're all in the top right, basically. Outside of one, I'm assuming, yeah, lesser demon down there. So my objective is to rebuild over here and try to get them to come toward me. Fly. <sighs> yeah, I know. 
as soon as making noises at the fly. I don't have the fly, as soon. Again, he's just curled up on my lap. Anyway, Baron. Ah, uh, Baron needs to move up some. Minge? Mm -hmm. Making sure that my melee characters are on a land effect 30% location just to get the extra defense bonus because I am definitely lacking in defense. Are you boosted? Yes. No. Yes. 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 No. I don't think I can reach them. They're boosted anyway. But I mean, I'm getting kind of tired of just constantly boosting using Jaha rather than actually using him. And, but he's so high level right now that it's not viable for me to do that. So I think after this battle, promote him. Uh, let's see, Chester, I want you down there. Bowie, you can stay there. Gerhalt. Yeah, I'm not used to having multiple members in my party with boost. That's also throwing me off a bit. May, you can go down there. Kiwi, I need to heal somebody I can't reach. Okay. Just heal yourself. Or heal girl, whatever. Okay. Um, Janet. You're gonna go over here. I think I'm now in range of the uh, archer up there. Your movement is four. One, two, three, four. Not in range of the dwarf. Her movement is five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. No, actually, I think I'm one tile off. I'm not gonna taunt him. I, however, am in range of them. Yeah, might as well. Randolph's got defense. Leveled up. HP 2, attack 2, defense 2, agility 1. So the characters that don't have weapons should be getting more than one attack every time. If they only get one attack, they are falling behind because they don't have weapons. Um, yes, please. Um, what was I even saying? <laughs> so, plus two attack is probably what I would consider bare minimum. For somebody who's promoted and not using a weapon. Plus two attack's kind of like a plus one attack on anybody else. It's, hey look, you're at least keeping up, but not by much. I don't even know if this is going to do anything. Yep, it did. Sweet. Let's see, let's go ahead and safe state here. Damn. 19. And Bowie's gonna get shot in the face. That's the downside. Ah, Egress boost. Problem is that the spells are not in the same locations on each of the characters because of the way things are from the randomizer. I only boosted one person. Oh. Better than nothing. Yeah, this is going to be a quick battle, so I'm going to just full heal Randolph. Well, that's not feel full heal. Heal 4 is actually full heal. Um, its range is garbage. 
and it costs twice as much MP to pull off. The reason why I don't like Heal 4 is that there's also a spell called Aura 4. The difference between Heal 4 and Aura 4 is that Aura 4 will full heal the entire party on the entire battlefield for the same MP cost. There's not really a reason to use Heal 4 when you have Aura 4. So you really don't want to use Heal 4 at all. Okay, got those two groupers, but they're slow. Stupid flies. I'm pretty sure you can finish off the Dark Snip. Yep. I don't know why there's a fly in here. Other than obviously it flew in, but... Bugs actually bother me quite a bit. Um, I grew up in South Florida. There's, It's impossible to avoid bugs in Florida. A little concerned about Luke. He's not getting experience as fast as the rest of the party now. Just because he's so far behind order-wise and he's a frontline fighter. But yeah, like I said, bugs bother me. Just sit still. It's fine. I would love it if you were able to grab that fly, you see? It's flying over my head, though. So yeah, growing up in households that constantly had bug problems, bugs bother me a lot. Um, it's not really a phobia. It's not like I'm afraid of them. It's just an anxiety... Thing. Dang, Bowie's movement is far. I'm just moving Bowie all the way back. I could ninja my way up. This is probably a terrible idea. But I'm doing it anyway. Hopefully he'll level up. There we go. HP 1, MP 2, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 2, and he didn't get the last spell. Um, hold on a moment. Let me look up. He should have gotten one, right? He counts as being level 25 right now. Oh, wait, no. Luke only gets two spells, right? It's Gerhalt that's the one that's messed up on spells right now. Never mind. Didn't even need to finish looking up. Yeah, the game actually gets a little easier at this point in the game, if you haven't noticed. Um, and the reason being is that the game assumes that you promote at roughly the same time of the game that I did. I was not getting, I was not expecting that this was a terrible plan. Yeah, I could take two hits, but not a crit in a hit. That's what I wanted to have happen. Again, he can take a hit. That's not a problem. Taking two uh, crit in a hit, that is. Might as well. It's overkill, but eh. Again, this is a short battle. I'm not too concerned about wasting MP. Besides, that should attract the lesser demon. 
admittedly, Rick's defense is terrible. Maybe I should be a little more concerned about that. All right, who's actually boosted? You're not. You're not. You are. You're not. You are. You are. You're not. You're not. You are. Okay, I can only get two people regardless of where I cast it at. So I'm going to do that down here. No one else is even injured, are they? Well, I guess Chester actually is. Might as well. Thump. I'm also thinking about promoting Kiwi just because he's pretty high level. Mm, gee. Even the... There's no pronoun given to Kiwi in the game, to my knowledge. So it's kind of nebulous as to what pronoun I should use for Kiwi. Especially when Kiwi currently is a priest, and all priests in Shining Force 2 are women. So it's really nebulous at that point. Alright, I'm gonna leave that to Luke, I think. Start going after the other Dark Soldier. Ooh, two attacks, nice. Good job, Slade. 38 XP, too. That's really nice for not killing somebody. Yeah, I'll have Janet finish off the other one. Janet's also low level. Mm-hmm. Ninja! There we go. That's better. HP 2, AP 2, attack, defense, and agility 1. That's fine. Okay, so we have these four, plus that one, plus that one, plus that one. Just gonna posture up here. Yep, that's what I was expecting to have happen. That's actually less damage total than it what it would be if uh, the Lesser Demon had just attacked. Because those two are low defense. Also, there's a healer sitting there that can just heal themselves. It's not that big of a deal. My kingdom for aura, though. I wonder if I'm ever going to get aura as a spell. So, in normal Shining Force 2, there's only two characters in the game that get Aura. Uh, Karna is one of them, and the other one, we haven't even gotten that character yet. Um, yeah, they're, it's not a common spell, for lack of a better way of phrasing it. But it's not unheard of, and again, there's two characters in the game that have the spell. Is too high level. I don't want to use her. What am I doing levels wise anyway? Uh, I still have a few fives remaining. I want the fives to kill it. You're definitely not a five. You are not a five. You are. I'm okay with Slade killing that. Damn, I do a lot of damage. HP 2, attack 1, defense 3, agility 1. Those are some nice levels. Alright, nobody below us now, so we're not going to get flanked anymore. I'm um, not in range to heal. Oh. 
just heal Luke. I have been recording for a little over half an hour now. 37 HP 2, MP 2, Attack 1, Defense 2, Agility 2. Ooh, those are some really nice levels. Maybe I should wait until 40. 40 is max level anyway, so it's not like I'm waiting long on Sarah. Or Kiwi. Sorry, Sarah is usually the healer. Ah, uh, do I want to start pissing him off? Yeah, I do. Sniper on sniper action, let's go. Mine does more damage, pretty sure. Ah, you're just gonna hit a different sniper instead. I don't quite understand why, but okay. Slicey. Boom. Uh, you're just dead. Level 6. HP 3. Attack 1. Defense 3. Agility 2. Janet is a really good character. Ah, uh, that's a terrible idea. Once Luke actually has more MP, this becomes... Uh, Luke will be quite a bit better of a character. And Luke's getting 2 MP a level right now, so... It's doing pretty good on that front. You're gonna thwack Randolph upside the head with a stick. You're doing single-digit damage. You get hit back for double-digit damage. That was not a good plan for you, Dark Bishop. Um, Fester, you're going to hold back a little bit because you need some healing. Dive! Ooh, nice damage. Good job, Bowie. Have you heard the good word about boost yet? Because everybody should be boosted. <laughs> B2, MP2, Defense 1, Agility 2, Gerhalt learning new spell, Slow. So Gerhalt slash spell is a status effect spell. Um, again, I had to spoil myself when it came to Gerhalt. Didn't really have to. I accidentally spoiled myself and then had to fix a lot of things. So now Gerhalt has all of his spells. Uh, slow is not a very good spell. It's just not. Okay. Uh, do I want to finish off the bishop? No. I want to start thwacking the wizard. What was I saying? Oh, right. Um, so slow is the opposite of boost. Um, the plus side is that it's also the opposite in that slow 2 has a very large area of effect. The only status effects, no it's not, muddle also has a very large area of effect. It's not the worst, uh, is Bowie just dead? I just want to promote characters now. <laughs> Man, three defeats on Bowie. This is worse than my normal game of Shining Force 2. <sighs> so, Jaha is almost 37. Kiwi is... I think I'm going to actually wait for level 40 for Kiwi. I think I can. I don't think there's much of a reason not to. I think I'll be fine. Jaha is the one that I'm starting to waver on whether I want to promote now or not. 
I'd lose 82 experience, which is definitely a downside. Um, that 70 MP is really nice, and promoting him means that I'm going to hit question marks on MP pretty fast. Especially since he'll be able to actually use his spells for offensive damage for once. And not have it be a waste of MP. On the other hand, I could wait a little bit longer until I hit 40. His stats will be that much higher. And we're not talking about too much longer. We're talking about like two battles. It's <sighs> a hard choice. Rick, I'm going to keep his priest for a while because... Uh... Uh, maybe not, because then I can use his offensive spells, too. But he has so much lower MP. But I'm planning on promoting him to Vicar, if that doesn't matter as much. I don't know. Can I see the caravan anywhere? No, I don't. Unfortunate. Nope. Mm. Once I think the moment I walk outside, I'm going to be in battle again. The reason why I wanted the caravan was so I can grab the Vicar Ball and promote. Let me see if I immediately go into battle. Yep. Okay, I guess I'm gonna wait until after battle. I'm gonna pause this because I've just gone through this battle. I'll be back when the battle's done. That went well. Chester immediately got double attacked right early on, and well, most of my force can't survive a double attack, never mind my archers. Anyway, let's try that again. Um, but this time, I think I am going to promote Jaha. He's level 37 now, I, he did level up once, he got stats. But, really don't feel like trying to grind him up higher. So I'm gonna make him a whiz because I like his spell selection. He pretty much has the best set of spells in the game. I mean, replace Blaze with Aura, and it would actually be the best set of spells in the game. But all my mages are going to start with Blaze, so now he's a whiz one. <sighs> do I promote Kiwi? Or do I... I'm going to leave Kiwi. Mostly because... Oh, that's right. I can't access my Vigor Ball right now anyway. So. Alright. Let's try this again. Okay. I just wanted to point something out. Um, so, this Dark Sniper just attacked Jaha. And dealt one damage. Reason being that Jaha is currently boosted and has 57 defense. The Dark Sniper's attack is 56. Since one's the amount of damage that you can do, ah, uh, it did one. Nice. Alright. Mostly got back. I'm still a little further back, but this is good enough for this. And you got to see what Jaha looks like for attack. And Jaha leveled up to level 2. HP 1, MP 2. Defense 1, Agility 1. Nice. Even more MP is always nice. Alright. Um, by the way, um, Luke got hit really hard. <laughs> um, he ended up having to fight off two enemies for two full rounds because of weird init order. 
reasons. We're gonna hide down there for the time being. Uh, yeah, boost is starting to expire again. I still have the enemies down below that I need to fight, but I felt as though this was a good enough time to switch back. Not nah, egress. Boost? Question mark? I'm sorry, sorcerers still look so much more awesome. Even the other sorcerer type looks awesome, but, you know. Alright. You need the gobs of healing. Heal three. Alright, now you can take a hit at least. Ugh. Three hits, jeez. They're actually reasonably high level right now. A little concerned about overleveling on some characters. Um, you're going to take another heal three because I don't want you to die. You're the lowest level character of the party right now. Tied for with Slade, in fact. See, one of my problems when it comes to strategy RPGs is that I get impatient really easily. So as a result, any character that has more movement and more frequent actions tends to level up faster. I should be more patient, but not. Okay. Go right ahead. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna stay there for a bit. This looks like a job before boost. I really don't like the whiz look in comparison to the um, sorcerer look. Oh, I already had Janet boosted. Oh well, not a big deal. Let's just weaken you a little bit. Thump. A little. Yeah, May is getting a little too high level now. Uh, have you heard the good word about boost? Yes, you have. Have you? Yes, you have. I don't think I can reach Bowie, and it doesn't matter. Bowie has as well, and so has Gerhalt himself. I guess you're just going to sit there. Die? Yes, please. Thank you. Yay, Bowie finally leveled up. HP 1, Attack 1, Defense 1, Agility 1. No MP increase. Ah, uh, It's unfortunate. You're going to hide in forest, please. Nope. in one hit? You can. Well, at least when I crit. 7. HP 2. Attack 1. Defense 2. Agility 1. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pew! Only 12. Unfortunate. Who do I have the power ring equipped on? Power rings on Elric. Okay. Oop. That was a nice level up. And Blast level 4. Interesting. Blast 4 is not a great spell, but it actually does a decent amount of damage. Is there anybody critically hurt in range? No. I 
I think you might kill them. And I want to level up some other people first. Of course you are. See what I mean by Chester taking two hits is not viable? Elric can use XP though. Still not leveling. Yeah, I think it's Ninja Slash time. Ninja Slash. Okay. This is where I was before when I messed up. So I'm going to be more patient now. My lower level character, or my higher level characters can stay behind a bit. That's fine. Uh, moving you up there is fine because now you're in range of being healed. Also, you're in range of hearing about the good word. The good word of boost, of course. Okay. See, I'm getting to use Jaha's MP for the first time in a while. should also hear about the good word. I'm telling you, it's the most popular word in town. Janet's still boosted. Okay. Uh, Elric, you can be there. Kiwi, you're going to heal three Chester because he needs it. Just move up as far as you can, Chester. You're mid-tier level. Stay back if you can. Slade, please move up. Randolph, you're higher level. You're gonna protect the flank. Heal Bowie, please. Bonk. Yeah, so Rick is actually within normal level range now. That's how slow his leveling's been. Because he's only getting, like, 10 XP a turn. He is getting more XP than normal, but not as much XP as killing things would give him. That's why I'm thinking maybe he needs to be promoted at this point, but I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and save state so I don't have to waste a bunch of time again. Because this video was supposed to be two battles long. It's not gonna be. All of them are boosted, aren't they? Yes. Yes, they are. Well, we'll just put Jaha there. Jaha is the best defense of my party, after all. Which, what? You can just fly behind. Yes, this is perfectly fine. Slice. Still shocked that the boost hasn't expired. Go ahead and heal Jaha for the three points of damage he's taken. Well, technically it's two points of damage and one... Mm, dang it! I wish I had not used up my MP on that bolt earlier, because bolt two... Bolt two right here would hit four targets, and that would be delicious. Ninja! Ninja. HP 2, MP 2, Attack 1, Defense 2, Agility 2. Nice! I mean, I knew Luke would end up being a really good ninja, but, uh... Unfortunately, he's gonna get blazed in the face. So something I just noticed. That the wizard is going like this. To me, it always looked like the wizard was going like this, because I was looking at this on a composite TV. Yeah, this is a good time to do that. Good XP, too. That wizard is actually high level. Moving people up. You are going out to flank. 
you are going to preach the good word. Uh, who's actually unboosted? Okay. Good word. The good word is boost. Yeah, I feel as though when I promote Kimi, everybody is going to be roughly the same level again. Unfortunately, that's not good news for Rick, who really needs to be higher level than that. Which is the reason why I'm thinking about promoting him as well. So the reason why I'm doing that is, I think that's actually the boss of the battle? No, it's a lizard folk. Ooh, nice dodge. Good job, Luke. What I was going to say was, I thought there were too many creatures out there where I was going to start losing characters. There we go. Much better. Nuke him. Luke can take one hit. Yep, you have aura. Which is unfortunate. But it's fine. Everything's fine. You know why everything's fine? Because Bolt 2 is here! Uh, it does not matter where I target. But I am going to bolt too, because I can. I have the MP, let's use it. I'd like to bolt. Forty six XP without killing anything. Ah that bolt. Okay, I think this is okay. Cause I should be able to kill the Dark Soldier in one hit. Nope. That was a mistake. Yeah, see, look at the range on slow right now. Like, I can slow something immediately next to me, and that's it. Alright. All I could do is preach the good word. They're all boosted. Oh, I've not had to reboost Janet in a while. That's weird. Everybody's boosted. Everybody's boosted. There's nothing I can do with Gerhold. Yeah, let's go ahead and... Mm, I don't want to snip that one. I will snip the lizard folk. Snip. Luke, heal! At least I can heal more than I'm taking damage from a single hit. That helps. Slade. Yeah, Slade would be a good person to use for killing the Dark Soldier, because Slade needs the XP. Stupid dodging of nukes. take out that Dark Soldier. 43, that means that I'm starting to get too high level for them. I can end it this turn if I attack to the boss. I don't want to, though. I want to gain more XP. I'm greedy. My boost finally expired. Anybody I need to... No. It's okay, Rick. Eventually you'll actually be useful. You'll be able to practice your dark arts elsewhere. Bow Knight. 
pretty sure I'd be killing the lizard folk. I don't think I have much of a choice anymore, though. Ooh, black ring. Yes, that was a good reason to do that. Sweet, I have the black ring now. HP 2, attack 1, defense 1, agility 1. So the black ring is our first first item. So for those of you that may have watched Breath, or Breath of the Wild, Beyond the Beyond, the curse status effect is the exact same in this game as it is in Beyond the Beyond, which is to say, cursing is terrible. Why the hell would you ever deal with that garbage? But... There's one advantage to those types of items. Oh, that's a terrible idea. You're standing there. Yep, that's what I was expecting to have happen, and that's fine. Um, the one advantage to cursed items in Shining Force 2 is that you can use them in combat. Just like you can use rings, normally you can use cursed rings, and you don't have to have them equipped. So a black ring, if I remember right, does blaze three, let's say. Lesser demon, slicey, dashy, stabby. That's more of a stabbing. Uh, still can't reach, but I can boost. Yeah, they can use the word. Again, I don't want to kill the lizard folk until I'm done with a bit more of combat, if I can help it. I know I'm at an hour. Because I'm trying to juice out more XP from these enemies. I'm a little on the other underleveled side, but only a little. Uh, that's gonna kill it. I don't know if May's even going to get all that much XP off of the Lesser Demon at this point. Let's find out. Bonk. 26, jeez. 16 XP, yeah, no. Alright. You can go heal over here. Bonk. really want is Kiwi to be leveled up slightly more. Yep, I think it's time to actually end this battle. I'm assuming you don't have any items. No, you don't. Let's end it with a Mr. Freeze, shall we? Blink, 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 blink. 49 XP, Jaha's level 3, HP 1, MP 2, Defense 1, Agility 1. We're not going to be getting any spells for a long time. So remember, Jaha was level 37 before promotion. So that means that he's going to need to reach level 17 before we have a chance of getting a spell. So we've got a while. Is he alright? We have to save him before he's possessed by an evil... <laughs> what happened? I was almost possessed by that devil that you slayed instantly and didn't participate in combat. Thank you. How can I repay you for your kindness? Are you okay? I'm sorry. Are you okay now? Good. May I ask you, where were you going in such a wounded state? Pakalon, my home country. We were fighting against the devils, but no country in North Parmesia has enough power to resist them. So I was heading south to find some allies. Welp. You don't have to go any further. Uh, then you're from South Parmesia? Yes, Grand Seal. Oh, how lucky. Please, come with me to Bacalon. But we have to go to Tristan. Oh, please, I can't return to Bacalon without allies. Maybe when you're done? Okay, I'll go with you. Higgins the Paladin. That's actually what he is normally. He's also the worst character in the game. So, Higgins is our first pre-promoted character. And uh, apparently our first knight class in this game. Um, 
Chester is usually the first knight. You get him at the start of the game. And Chester is a reasonably decent knight. He has hit points as his primary stat in normal base Shining Force 2. Higgins is Chester as though you promote him at level 20. Exactly 100% identical stats as though you promote him at level 20. Which means even if you promote Chester at level 21, he will be strictly better than Chester. Or he'll be Chester will be strictly better than Higgins. Higgins is the worst character in the game. There's no reason to ever use him. Uh, I need to update my spreadsheet to add Higgins. Can't believe he's actually a paladin. Coincidentally, there's also another glitch in the game that, um, but you're injured, Mr. Higgins. No problem. I don't know why, but I'm much better now. It's because I joined the party. We spin. Let's go to Pekalon. Did something with my hand. Anyway, um, Higgins, you are a level seven paladin, which means you count as being 28. Um, but your stats are terrible. So 51 hit points, zero MP, 57 attack, 39 defense, 32 agility, at seven movement. Uh, that means that Higgins is worse than Sarah. And Sarah is two levels lower. Admittedly, Higgins, being a paladin, has the ability to use javelins, which are thrown weapons, so Higgins actually has a small amount of range. It's one to two range rather than just two like archers are. Or two to, two to three now for archers. Um, but those are not good stats. I have archers with better stats, actually, now that I'm looking. So let me pop open Excel again really fast and show you. So these are from the previous level. I haven't I haven't changed. So let me compare. Let's go with brass gunners. Bow knights, snips, and paladins. So just as a comparison, take a look at May versus Higgins. So Higgins has one more hit point, two less attack, six more agility, which is nice, or six more defense, and five less agility. Yeah, I would prefer to have May in every situation. And even if we compare with Elric at a level lower, uh, Higgins is very similar in stats to Elric, only higher defense, lower agility. But Elric is higher level now. So Elric now would be one more attack. Remember, Elric has the power ring, so is uh, so sorry. One more hit point, the same attack bonus, um, four less defense, and five more agility. It's not worth it. Higgins is just not a good character, and it looks like he remains as such. And that's it for this time. I'm going to, um, well, my grocery delivery is going to be delivered in 35 minutes. So I am going to save this here. Actually, I'm going to go back, save, then pick up the next one. Let's go ahead and make a real save. I wish I would have actually made real saves and kept them for each one of these. But I didn't think about it, so. Oh well. Oh. Talk to you next time, Internet. Bye!